Okay, so this one is about a Lightroom Photoshop workflow bug. I'm sure this affects everyone that uses Lightroom with Photoshop. Although I was busy tagging some of my older uh, images and that's why I'm currently in this folder. So let's just take a look at the bug and how you can get around it. We go into preferences look at external editing and if you see edit in photoshop and the compression type is set to zip unfortunately this does not happen and this is probably a very long standing bug let's take a look at it since these shots are from a place called dhanori which is famous for the saras crane I'll just pick up one of these images, command E to take it into Photoshop and in Photoshop we'll just follow our regular path, a command J to make a copy, disable the visibility, select the subject, create a layer mask, select the background so our addition of the layer is under the masked image. We'll just do a solid color here. Press OK. And we just do a command S for save. It's saving the file here. Let's go back into Lightroom. Right click on the image. Show in Finder. The file size is 435 MB. And let's just double click on this to go to the preview application where we can actually see more info. A command I here and the TIFF shows uncompressed. This is a major issue. And let's quit this. And let's keep this. Go back into Photoshop. And once you've done a command S to save, I have this file open here, I'll just close that. I do a command shift S, that's the shortcut, or save as. Click save, click replace, and as you can see, this is not activated. Now, click OK. The saving will take a bit longer because it's also compressing the saved file. Once this is done, we go back into the finder window, look at the file size, 166, less than 50%. We double click on that, we go to the preview app, do a command I for info, and now the compression is zip. That's it. That's how you can save over 50% of your storage space. Let me just quit. And since I don't really want this, I'll delete by pressing X to reject, command backspace, and gone. So this is a quick tip as to how you can save over 50% of the storage space when using Photoshop. There is one additional tip. Do not attempt to save as and choose the zip compression directly from Photoshop. What I have found is uh, almost 99% of the time, if you directly do a save as and choose the zip compression, Photoshop will crash. So just do a save first and then a save as. Once you have done a save as zip, it will remain that way. So everything remains fine. And that's it till the next one.